Now, if you were watching a few weeks ago, you can probably remember the interview with Peter Coonert and his banana-coloured Evo 5. Well, I'm with Peter here again today, and this is toy number two. Peter, it's awesome. Go on, tell us what it is. Right, it's a Renault Clio Dimmer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of 32 that was ever made, and it's the finest show car lot that he's ever made. Uh, just to go through it, uh, if you want to look at the interior first, you've got uh, a DVD player, television screen, uh, radio cassette, a stack system under the seat, uh, you've got speakers in the back with the amps, all the backs covered in black Alcantara leather. I hear there's something very special about the steering wheel. Yeah, it's a removable more more steering wheel, you just pull these two side panels out here yeah. and the steering wheel should come off mm, like that. Then you just put a lock, a key in there, lock it up, throw it in the boot or take it with you. It virtually makes the car unmovable unless they're going to pick it up with a stacker truck. Uh, other than that, we've got micro switches under the door handles. Uh -huh. uh, it's got a full cat one alarm system on it, so it's virtually untakeable. Uh -huh. uh, then going to the front, we've got a supercharge under the engine. All the engine's been virtually hand built. It's got a stainless steel hand built exhaust system. Uh, the supercharge and the engine's been modified to take 460 brake hours at the moment, uh, which is quite rapid. It's probably about 0 to 60 in 5 seconds, which doesn't sound much, but the top speed is around the 155, 160 mark. So it's, it's quite fast. Now, of course, it, it's very low and the suspension's fully lower. Do you have any problems with speed bumps? Yeah, I, I usually scratch a little bit on the front, not yeah. much. Touch wood up to now, we've not had much damage, <laughs> just little scuffs. But some of the speed ramps are quite high, yeah. you know, they can cause a problem. Now then, Peter, these Lancashire Lane you must have some fun tearing down them. <laughs> Unofficially, I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> do you find it really helps living in a, a kind of a rural, rural area? Yeah, it's excellent because the police are quite lenient and as long as you don't look stupid, yeah. there's no problems and the roads, there's hardly any traffic over the moors. And like I yeah. said, uh, I have loads of fun with the car. I don't actually hammer it, it's just nice driving roads. You know, other than that, uh, I have my toy bike. Well, yeah, I was going to say, these yeah. Lancashire lanes are perfect for a car, but they're also pretty handy for two wheels. Yeah. And uh, that's going to take us nicely onto your third toy, isn't it? Yeah, the R1, the Yamaha. Now, Peter, I couldn't help but noticing them little bottles on the side of your R1. Are they when you get a bit thirsty, you know? No, they're not. They had <laughs> nitrous oxide bottles on the bike to give it extra power. What I've done, uh, I put a nitrous oxide quick shift on so you can change gear. Mm -hmm. uh, through the box automatically. It's also got two nitrous oxide cylinders on and the jets in the bike to boost it up to 500 brake hours. Oh. There's not to 60 in like five seconds. Put Sorry, not to six, uh, not to 150 in five seconds. But it must immediately pop a wheelie with power. It does. Do you have trouble yeah. keeping it down? Yeah, you have to lie on the bike. You can only do it on the drag strip. You don't use it on normal roads. Yeah. I mean, you're in Lancashire and you've got basically the choice of the best two wheels around and the best four wheels around, I'd say. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Peter, lucky man. All right, cheers. <laughs> cheers.